Angel Reese has been trending on social media after it was reported that she was benched for unknown reasons. LSU's head coach, Kim Mulkey, somewhat addressed the situation during a press conference and stated, you want me to explain why? It's very obvious. Angel was not in uniform. Angel is part of the basketball team, and we hope to see her sooner rather than later. What do y'all think is going on here, Al? Y'all, don't get me pissed off again, because <laughs> I'm already <laughs> pissed off. This pisses me the heck off. How do you, the university, now there's responsibility on both sides of the aisle, and I will agree with that. But how do you, as a university who has made so much damn money off of this one black female, she's resuscitated your entire basketball program, if not your university program as a whole, from how much she has been in the media. This is the only woman, she's the most prominent female basketball player in the NCAA with the NIL deals. She makes close to a million dollars, which is more than most NBA players. How do you let this young lady not get her grades in to the minimum of a 2.0? Why don't you have resources around her, helping her, tutoring her, making sure she gets her homework assignments done? I just don't get it. And to the young lady, you have some responsibility too. Don't let this, don't let this country fool you and don't let this media fool you. They will blow you up. They will support you and make you feel like a queen, like you can't be touched only to drag you down. And if this is not an example on a wake up call, sweetheart, then you're gonna have to figure it out because they, they, they have rules. The majority have rules and they're gonna always follow the rules because they're gonna always protect themselves. They don't really care how much money you actually brought in and they don't care that you're the most prominent female basketball player if you're not following their rules. Get it together, Angel Reese. Whatever reason it is that you're off that, you're off that team, get back on it and do it ASAP. Cause this right here from what we hear allegedly is because you don't have a 2.0. Shame on you coach, shame on you university, shame on you angel. Uh, G Mutt Q 20, 2001 said her grades are bad. So she can't play. Her mouth wasn't keeping up with her grades. Uh, that's bull, she needs to improve her grades. Funky, what do you think? I'm going to do you one better. And I know a lot of people may not agree. We're not going to pretend like Angel Reese is in college because she wants to get a degree and go be a marketing professional in Manhattan somewhere. She's in college like many other athletes because college is a means to professional sports. Unpopular opinion for as much as she's done for that college and as much attention as she's brought to that team, like Al has brought out, why hasn't the good old boys club gotten behind her, the provost and everybody else, and just went in the system and changed the grades and make sure that she was eligible for PR reasons? I mean, you do it for everybody damn else. I, I remember in high school, I went to Carroll City Senior High School. We in Miami, our high schools in Miami, we produce the most number of NFL players of any city. I remember being a senior in high school and boys popping up with new cars, boys who were single moms that was broke, dirty, dusty, and musty it's ever since I'd known them since middle school and senior year popping up with brand new vehicles with rims and speaker systems. And you know how they did it? They did it through the alumni associations and stuff. They bought these boys cars to sway them into coming to school. Things happen in the background all the time with the alumni club, the, the players club, and all these different things. I'm just questioning why didn't somebody go in the system and change her grades or do what they did when I was in college, made all the athletes take physical education as a major, and you literally just had to show up to get good grades. <laughs> I'm going to say two things about this. Um, 1000 percent if it was a white quarterback of some football team of a big division one college, we would have never heard about this incident at all. It would have gone away. Some girl would have been taking the test for him. Or like you said, they would have gone on the computer and made it right. We would have never heard about this. Now, the attention on women's sports is very, very new. I'll say the last two years it's been getting some kind of attention is when it comes to collegiate and we won't even get into the WNBA. We really didn't really hear much about it until Brittany Griner got hemmed up in, in Russia. Now people want to care about it, but no one cared. Nobody cared. So it's new. So we, I don't think they've gotten around to treating the women like they treat the boys just yet. But when they see the pockets being affected, they, they may, but now angel, the responsibility also lies on you. We can, you are an adult. You're not a child. 
And girlfriend, we are rooting for you. Like how Tyra Banks said, we are all rooting for you. So with that being said, you know the man's going to be looking at you extra, 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 extra. So don't give them anything to criticize you about. Don't let them say you're just a dumb jock because you're not. And don't get so comfortable with the other deals. Like if you're going to go through the college process, go through the college process and keep your grades above it. A 2.0 girl is not, that's not hard to get.